Hello there, my crafty friends. It's Ashley Pfeiffer, the maker behind Stamped AF, and this week I am bringing you a 3D project on Monday, and I know that's not usually the case. If I'm doing a 3D project, it tends to be for creating for Christmas, but I wanted to show you how to make this adorable little, um, what would you call it? It's a little bottle box. So this one says, from our house to yours, and there's, uh, I did a stamped off house. This is from the stamp set, from our house to yours. Now, this time, I wanted to show you a masculine or kind of generic version. This time, we are going to use Shaded Spruce and the Wrapped in Plaid DSP, and we're going to make a holiday-themed one. So in this little box, is a 50 milliliter bottle of Bailey's and I've had this sitting around for some time. I had planned to use it with the Alpine Suite last year and just never got around to it. But I saw this adorable little design from Linda Parker who used to be a demonstrator. I don't believe she is anymore. She's still crafting. She still has amazing YouTube videos but she is not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator anymore. She is fantastic. She's a British crafty lady and her videos are amazing. So if you haven't checked her out before, you really should head on over. Um, so with Bailey's, this is a 50 milliliter bottle and I looked it up. I thought these had a name. Like you go to the liquor store and you see Mickey's and you see two sixes and all of these other things. Well, when I looked this up, it said it was a nip. So we're going to call it a nip. Uh, and I think we're going to use this gorgeous paper. This is my second, at least my second, possibly my third batch of this paper. So we need our stamp and trimmer. I'm going to put this stamp set away. This one, if you haven't given it any thought, it's in the holiday catalog. It is so sweet. So, like I said, I just used the little house and from our house to yours, but if you don't follow me on Facebook or you missed last week's Facebook Live, I did these little cards and I'm thinking I'm going to put some houses in here, but it's just, it's so cute. It took me a while to get it, but I finally did. And the list with retiring product is going to be coming out on Tuesday, so uh, be sure to check that out and see if that stamp set is on the list. I hope not, but time will tell. Okay, so on the long side, we are going to score at one inch. I always find it easier to do it on this side. We are going to flip it around and score it at three and a half. And then three and three quarters, four, and five. Now we're going to turn it to the short side and we are going to do three eighths. And then we're gonna turn it around again. One and a quarter. Just be sure you haven't moved it like mine just did. Two and one eighth. Three. Three and seven eighths. So we're just going seven eighths of an inch over every time. And four and three quarters. So I did modify this from Linda's template because my bottle is quite a bit smaller. She had a mini wine bottle and I'm doing my little Bailey's nip, apparently. Okay, so we can fold and burnish all of those score lines. Now with these three, we are going to do a mountain and then a valley fold. Okay, so we've got two mountains and then in the middle, we want to do a valley fold and that is forming this part in here. Okay, so now we can score these ones as well. Now 
Now, initially I thought we weren't going to use DSP. I was actually going to use the Sip Sip Hooray stamp set and the Cheers to That stamp set because they pair so wonderfully. But I think we're going to do Eat, Drink and Have a Merry Christmas. And we might do a Sip Sip Hooray in there, but we'll see. Okay, so with your scissors, just notch out that part on both sides. And then we are also going to wedge these. Now, you could cut down or cut up the middle, but I find instead of doing three cuts, this way I only do two. So I notch it instead of cutting it up the middle and then notching it. Just saves an extra step. Okay, now we're going to fold that over. And you can see these little holes in here. So I am just using a standard hole punch, single hole punch. I'm punching about halfway up on each of those score lines. Okay. And now each one of these is, I believe it was seven eighths of an inch wide. We're going to do three quarters of an inch wide by two and three eighths. So we'll cut it down to two and three eighths first. Okay, so the next step is we are going to add glue to each one of these tabs. Push them down. This just gives a nice finished edge. You just want to hold them down until they begin to set. fingers are very gluey. Okay, and now we're ready to assemble. So I think what I'm going to do is use this lovely ribbon. This was from the November Christmas time exclusive bundle. We'll just thread it through here. It's not essential that you do it at this point in the process, but it will make it easier. I cannot tell you how many pieces of cardstock I wasted trying to get this just right. Okay, so now we are ready to stand that up. If you see where I'm coming from here. Now, the one thing I should mention is we don't want this coming out at that tab. We'd like it to be, I'd like it to be so that it's, that's not quite the accent piece. Okay, so we'll put your bottle in there. And it is a lot easier when you have your bottle in here. Okay, so glue down your tabs.
okay now we want to run some glue down here to close up our seam make sure that your tabs at the bottom haven't set yet because you do want this to be flush Okay, so now we can put this piece back on. Okay, and we can take that bottle out for a moment and just put our ribbon back through. that this kind of crunches down it can look like a Christmas cracker we are going to tie this but not until we have our tag ready I think we are going to put a little scrap along there so that one if I remember is half an inch by two and seven eighths again on the top and for these pieces I found it was just easier to put the glue right on the box no oh, it wasn't two and seven eighths So we can just trim that one. There we go. So it's not the end of the world if you don't do that part, but it does make it look finished. And you can also put a circle on the bottom to hide this little mess. <laughs> but again, optional, not necessary. So now let's do our tag. So if you see on this one, I say sew a lot, don't I? Uh, I used this die from the Ornate Frames dies with a folded piece of Whisper White so that you can still write on the inside. So we're going to do that again. So I just have a strip of Whisper White scraps here. It is uh, one and five eighths of an inch. All we have to do is fold it at the top. And then we are going to put our die cut. We're partial die cutting. We don't want to cut all the way through. Otherwise, we will have two pieces, not one tag. Just wrap that there so it doesn't move. I know I said that I was using the cheers to that stamp set and that's really the only part of it that we're using. I try not to do projects where there's too many different suites and bundles but this one was just begging for the wrapped in plaid DSP and then this gorgeous stamp. If you haven't thought about this one, it is a fun one. And you can't get sip sip hooray without cheers to you. They're just meant to be. Okay, so eat, drink, and have a Merry Christmas. So I am going to use a shaded spruce just to tie it all together. She tape off. I 
And then I think what we'll do is with some mint macaron, I know it doesn't coordinate with this, but nonetheless, let's put in this little piece of basil. I know that it has nothing to do with this, but I want some kind of greenery. There's also this piece in here. But let's just put that near the top, near the bottom. Or we could put it on the inside. Let's see how dark it is when it's stamped off. Let's put one, that, oh, look at that. One in that corner. One in that corner. And one on the inside. There we go. I think it would skip the one on the bottom. It kind of looks like birds or something now. <laughs> but you get the gist. And then just taking a small circle punch the 1 8 punch, if you still have it. It had retired by the time I joined Stampin' Up. Just take a little punch and we ought to be able to thread this on there. And we can. Part a little low for now. You will feel some tension on this when you know that you can't go any further. You don't want to rip the holes, so don't pull too tight. So when you have it where you want, just push your tag up and tie your bow. And then just rearrange those ends. So with these little nips, you could go and purchase a whole bunch of them and have little host gifts or neighbor gifts for a whole bunch of people. Let's loosen that just a little bit. There we go wants to go sideways and I'm not going to fight it. So there we go. I've got a cute little gift. I'll tie this one back up. There's nothing in it right now because I only have the one little bottle of Baileys. Let's tie this up as if there's something in there. So this one uses the Press Petals Burlap DSP on Crumb Cake and then the braided linen trim and the t from our house to your stamp set so you can see that you can do a lovely holiday theme you could do a masculine theme you could do any kind of theme for this cute little bottle so i hope that you enjoyed that i hope that you will consider hitting that subscribe button below and you will catch two new videos each and every week um currently that is my Monday video, which is what you're watching now, and my creating for Christmas videos on Friday. Now in January that may change because I have super awesome news coming. Uh, I haven't announced it yet, but it will be coming soon. It will be a special project and uh, there will be weekly Facebook Lives and challenges and so much fun stuff so stay tuned for that and i thank you so so much for watching if you need any of the supplies for this or any other paper crafting project using stampin up supplies uh, and you live in canada i would be thrilled to be your demonstrator you can send me an email at stampdaf at gmail.com or you can shop with me with the link below so we will see you soon my friends bye